The definition of the magnetic field is a bit more difficult than the definition of the electric field because the electric field, uh, the force was just charge times electric field. But for the magnetic field, the force on a charge that's moving with a velocity v is equal to q times the velocity v crossed into the magnetic field. This is the cross product. So uh, the, it's much more complicated because of the cross product. So if you want to define the magnetic field, you can put a known charge at a certain point in space and make the charge move with a certain velocity that you can measure. Then you can measure the force on that charge at that point in space. And then the magnetic field would be at that point would be the vector that satisfies this equation. So it's a bit more complicated than the case for just electric field. In the following, we're going to just assume that we know what the direction of the magnetic field is, and so we can then get the force. But in general, if you want to define the magnetic field at a point, this is what you would have to do. We'll give an example of how to do this a bit more detail later on. In this chapter, we're going to uh, assume that the magnetic field is given and we're going to be defining the force in general. But in the next chapter, we'll learn how the magnetic field is actually produced by currents that are in wires. So when you have a wire with a current in it, that produces an a magnetic field in the region around it. And we'll learn this in the next chapter, not in this chapter.